Yes. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Salim Niaz. I have a sports channel with YouTube. The name of my channel is Sports Highlights. I make videos on sports all over the world, uh, especially cricket and tennis and American football and American basketball and soccer and swimming and golf. So I make videos on sports all over the world. Uh, my speciality is in cricket and tennis because I used to play these two games in college and high school and I played for my high school and college teams. So my, I really know these sports, but I also know like American uh, basketball and American football and, uh, and uh, uh, soccer and swimming and squash and racquetball and everything else. So I've already made a few videos on cricket and tennis. I think I've made one video on uh, cricket and one video on tennis. Today, this video is about cricket. So I'll be covering uh, what's happening in cricket uh, these days. I just recently made a video on the latest events in cricket, and this is just an update to that video. So as you can see, uh, these are the matches. The website which I'm visiting is called ESPNCrickInfo.com, right here, ESPNCrickInfo.com. So right now the match which is going on is uh, England versus Australia. Let's take a look at this match right here. Uh, let me click on the scorecard so it brings it up. So it's the day three of the day three of the fourth test, England versus Australia. Today was day three of the fourth test. Uh, I do know that if England win this match, then they'll draw the series level. Uh, I think Australia has won one match and something like that, or two matches, and England has won one match. So I do know if England win this match, if England win this match, they'll draw the series level. Uh, England scored 294 runs in the first innings. Australia replied by scoring 225. So roughly there was a lead for England for about. Uh, uh, 70 runs and then England are 313 for 8 in the second innings. This is a test match. It runs uh, 5 days. Like I said before in my earlier videos, a test match runs 5 days, a one day international runs 1 day and a T20 also runs 1 day. It's 20 over the side. <laughs> so as we currently stand, England lead, leads by 382 runs right here. England leads by 382 runs with two wickets remaining. Uh, I think it's quite a big lead. I don't think Australia will be able to get 382 runs in the fourth innings. The pitch has worn out. Uh, the pitch is uh, green and worn out. Uh, it's batting on the, fourth sec on the second innings on the fourth and fifth day is very hard, very tough. And I don't think England will be able to get, get these runs. Uh, Australia will be able to get these runs in the fourth innings. Anyway, let's. Uh, uh, so England has been doing well. Let's look at the scorecard of this fourth Test match. So the scorecard is right here. This was the England second innings. But let's let's look at the England first innings first. So as you can see in England's first innings. Uh, There's the England first innings. There weren't any uh, too many notable run scorers. The only contribution was from, from R.J. Burns. He's an opening batsman. He comes in to open. He scored 47 runs. Root, their captain, the England captain, he scored 57 runs. And Butler, he's another good player. Uh, he scored 70 runs. So these were the main contributions in the first innings. And uh, as far as the bowling is concerned, uh, Marsh, I haven't heard of him. I think he's a spinner, but I, I haven't heard of him. I know of Siddle and Hazelwood and Cummins. I haven't heard of Marsh. Anyway, he was the best bowler. He took five wickets. Cummins took three wickets. And Hazelwood right here took two wickets. So this was uh, the first innings, uh, Australia's first, or uh, England's first innings.
and they scored 294 runs all out in 87 overs at a run rate of 3.37. Now let's look at the Australia's first innings. Let me click this link. It will open up Australia's first innings. So as you can see, not too many people scored any runs. The only player who made any runs was Smith. He's got a lot of talent. He's very skilled. He's one of the best batsmen in the world. He scored 80 runs and he's been scoring hundreds quite often. He's, he's really good. Uh, he's been scoring hundreds quite often. Scoring hundreds quite often. And uh, so uh, Smith scored 80 runs. Other than that, Lab, Sanjay, I can't pronounce his name. He scored 40. It's a, it's a difficult name to pronounce. He scored 48 runs, and other than that, there's no nobody, no other significant contribution. So Australia were bowled out for 225, as you can see here, in 68 overs, giving England a lead of approximately uh, 70 runs. As far as the English bowlers were concerned, the standout was Archer. I think he's new. I haven't heard of him before. I've heard of Broad and Curran and Vokes. They are very well known, but Archer is, I think, new. He took six wickets, which is very commendable. A lot of compliments go out to Archer. It's commendable. Six wickets in 23 overs for 62 runs. And Curran, who's quite regular with England, he took three wickets. And then Vokes took one wicket, and I think one guy got run out. So... And then England second innings, which I just covered. Uh, no, I didn't cover the England second innings. It's 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 going on right now. It's in in progress. Their opener, Denley, he he scored 94 runs, which I think is the highest score in the match so far. Nobody has gotten past 90. So he's he's Den, Mr. Denley, English opening batsman. He's got 94 runs. He's the highest scorer. And Stokes, he's a very good all-rounder. He's one of the best all-rounders in the world. He scored 67 runs. And again, Butler. I think Butler got some runs in the first innings as far as I remember. Let's see. England first innings. Yeah, right here. Butler got 70 runs right here. Butler got 70 runs in the first innings. And in the second innings, he again scored 47 runs. So he has over 100 runs in the match. Uh, Butler has over 100 runs in the match, which is amazing. Uh, uh, eight, 70 in the first innings and 47 in the second innings. Very nice. But again, the highest scorer was Denley, the English opening batsman. Nobody got past 90. His, this is the highest score in the match, 94. And England are doing quite well at 313 for 8 in 91 overs. Their overall lead is, let's see, uh, their overall lead is 382 runs and they still have two wickets remaining. As I said, Australia, I don't think, will be able to get anything close to 400 runs in the fourth inning. It's very difficult. I don't, it's, a, it's going to be a world record, I think. Uh, nobody, uh, it's very difficult to bat in the second innings, especially on the fourth and fifth day. The pitch is worn out, as I said earlier. I don't think they'll be able to get 400 runs. And from my uh, prediction or estimation, this match looks pretty much like a win for England. Unless it rains, it rains tomorrow, uh, and it rains on the fifth day, then Australia can escape with a draw. But pretty much it's looking as if England will win this match and draw level the series. This way the series will be tied. And I think there are a total of five test matches in the Ashes. This is the fourth test match. Then the final test match is going to decide who's going to win the Ashes. When Australia go and play in England, it's called the Ashes. And also when England go and play in Australia, it's called the Ashes. It's been going on like this for more than 100 years. Ashes are played. And now they are played almost every year. Ashes are played every year. So again, uh, 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 this match is going to end on the 16th of September. It's still got two days to go. But again, as I said, my prediction is that England will win. 
because they are in a very good position, very comfortable position, and they should win, unless something dramatic happens or if it starts raining or there's rain. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was a brief uh, update on what's going on between England and Australia. I keep making videos. In my next video, I'll cover what's going on elsewhere, like there are other matches going on also. Uh, there's a match on the 15th between India and South Africa. So let's see what that will be. Or this was just an update on what's going on between England and Australia, the current test match. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll make more videos on sports all over the world. Again, the name of my channel is Sports Highlights and my name is Salim Nyas. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.